Hiya, my name is Miss Glitzy and I'll be taking you through step by step on how to make your horror zombie. Right, the first step, I'm just going to apply this gel and just onto the skin. Now you can make this as thick or as thin as you really need it. Just got to think this is the base, this is what's really going to set off how your zombie is really going to work. Now you can put it absolutely anywhere on how you want it to stay or look. Just be really gentle by the eye area. Now this sets really quick so we need to get this on as quick as we possibly can. I'm just going to do another one. Now you can really know the instant places. and you can pull it from the skin just to give it a little bit more. So you can lift it off the skin just to give it a little bit more characteristic, just to make it more of your own. As soon as we're happy with how much we have gone on there, we can then move on to the next stage. All you need is just a translucent powder and a sponge and gently just tap it on there just to take the shine and really make that gelatine stick. to the face. it does really take that stickiness out just so we can have a little bit more of a play now, as you can see the shine has fully gone just to give just more matte then we have to decide what colour we're really going to take that zombie with. It's going to be, you can have red, pink. I think I'm going to go for green. Just with a foundation brush or a sponge or a stipple brush or whatever you think that's easiest, just apply. Just kind of take all the colour away and cover it with whatever colour that you really prefer your zombie to be. I'm going to add a little bit of blue into mine. See, as you can see this side, the more gelatine we have, the really more you can see it rising off the face. Just makes it a little bit more characteristic, characteristic looking. Now 
like it starts seeing that taking effect. Right, next what I'm going to do, I'm just going to deepen these sockets. Again, just with a normal eyeshadow brush or whatever you think that's easy maybe it might be a sponge now just to give these kinds a little raised bits just a little bit more depth just add a little bit of black into the background I'm going to add, going to add a little bit of blue just to certain areas As you can see, just really take away that flesh colour underneath. And just see it in here, you just add that little bit of extra colour. I'm just going to shade just round the hairline, just to make this more... noticeable now this can be done with grease paint face paint whatever you that find whatever you find is the easiest back around to the front right now I'm going to use a um, sort of cork and gel blood, which is more like thick paste, and just with either a lip brush or again whatever you find's easiest. These little tiny little bumps, just add it into the middle. To you where you want to add it, pull it down, a bit more noticeable, hide it. Now just as a little extra, just with a piece of tissue paper, toilet paper, kitchen roll, whatever that you think's easiest, with latex glue. a little bit just more effective over the top of one like that while well, waiting for that to set back to your foundation brush that you used before colour in the same colour Again, this is really up to you. And how you want this to kind of look, stay. Just pull that away. The idea of this is to kind of look like it's torn skin, then the exciting bit. With just fluid blood, just loose, you add this wherever you want, just let it trickle down the face, trickle down the eye, use your finger just to smudge it round.
really use your imagination. Really smudge it into places. Simple but yes, effective. They draw hot as zombie. 